Uh, next one from Krista, do you get to choose what type of ads will or won't be shown in your videos? For example, if you don't want a brand or type of business to show ads, can you disable those ones? So this is one of those things that isn't as straightforward. It's not really yes or no. Um, in general, the YouTuber doesn't have a choice to be like, I want these ads and these ads, like you don't get to pick. It's not like a buffet. Right. right. <laughs> yeah. Like the advertisers are the paying customer in this situation. So mm -hmm. they're the ones who are saying, you know, what channels, what types of channels we want to be on that we're paying for. So mm -hmm. as a YouTuber, like I don't actually see any of this information. I have no idea sometimes. You don't participate. I don't in participate this. in that process. I don't see even and what ads are playing on my videos in like a list. Yeah, but you, sorry, to be very clear though, you can control, if you see an ad you don't like, right? So. you can specifically like take the URL of that ad, go into your settings and say, I don't want this ad to appear on my channel. Right, so that happened yeah. to me recently. There was a very specific political ad campaign that was showing up and so long as people gave me that unique URL, like there is a URL associated, mm -hmm. as long as they gave that to me and I could copy and paste that and go into my AdSense settings, I could actually block that particular URL from showing up as an ad. But that's not the same freedom of as like me saying, I don't want any ads about toys or something. Well, not, well, there is, well, there is, a so there is another mechanism yeah. to say, I don't want ads of these topics. I think the concern there is You're usually you in. don't want to exclude a whole category of ads. Like maybe you do and you just don't want to see any political uh, affiliated ads appear on your channel. I'm pretty sure that is one of the categories you can select and just not have it all. Mm -hmm. But like who knows how sensitive those are and what you're sort of limiting i think it's easier and most people just think of the fact that like if there's a bad ad going around i'll just pick that url and put it on my exclude list mm -hmm. so i've done that a couple times <laughs> yeah there i mean leading up to uh an election let's say this this was pretty a lot of people were commenting if they were seeing ads about politics or certain politicians on content mm -hmm. and again this is one of those things where a lot of youtubers were uh really mad at youtube about it when it's totally in their control if they want to remove it from their channel. And I've... <laughs> it's not all... Well, it's sometimes... It's... Sorry. It's most of the time it's in the YouTuber's control if they are independently operating their YouTube channel. Some YouTubers sign over uh, access and like basically ownership of the monetization of their mm -hmm. channel to networks. Yeah. And the reason they do that, generally speaking, is because the network is offering them better ad rates. So they sign over like permissions to monetize on my behalf, control my advertising on the channel. In exchange, they get more money. If you've given up that right to a network, it's not up to you. To, you don't have the decision power anymore to say like, I want to block this ad. Yeah. The network now has that power. So I did see in some cases YouTubers who were upset that they couldn't block ads couldn't do that because they no longer had control over their ad sense, but that was a result of their choices. Yeah, but like for those people to be mad at YouTube because they gave up the right to monetize their channel to a mm -hmm. network is completely unreasonable. And I'm just, I'm sorry, there were definitely people who were just kind of like making virtue problem, signaling yeah. and trying to blame YouTube for certain ads showing up like, on their videos. I'm trying to see both sides. I get it, and like I roll my eyes too, but I also yeah. think. Those YouTubers who sign on with the network didn't necessarily see the unintended consequences like this when they made the decision to sign up for, mo for that monetization program. Yeah, I'm glad you brought up networks. We should briefly touch on the fact that, yeah, like a, for a long time, networks would approach YouTubers and try to lock them into contracts and say, hey, we can get you more ad revenue. Yeah. Or a lot of the time it was a pitch of... Uh, like not every time someone clicks on your video, are they going to see an ad before it, right? So a lot of the time the networks would be selling you on this idea that we can sell more ads on your video. So more of the time when people click on a video, they are going to get an ad. That was like Defy Media. I remember I talked to a guy mm -hmm. at Defy Media at one point because he reached out and said, we will guarantee you can make X percentage more money and have X percent more monetized views. And that sounds like a very attractive pitch to most YouTubers. And a lot of YouTubers I know are part of a network for that reason. 
and there's other reasons yeah. like they provide you with like funding and resources and hook you up with merch or podcast programs and there's other reasons to sign with a network but one of their primary selling points to youtubers was like mm. we'll get you more money for ads yeah defy media is an interesting example though because when they went bankrupt mm. they just sort of shut their doors while they owed a bunch of youtubers a oh. lot of money and not yeah. just the extra money they made them since to sign up with them, you had to give over the monetization of your channel. Yeah. So a lot of people's just base AdSense earnings for the last few months, they were with Defy, just sort of disappeared into thin air. And that's awful. I mean, that sucks, but that's also kind of the risk. It's part of the risk, take. Yeah. Listen, I'm not trying to be callous, but like you signed up with someone with the hopes of making more money in ad revenue, mm -hmm. but the risk is you're doing it with some third party who, you know, isn't google doing it for you essentially that's why i'm so conservative <laughs> and i don't give up power to anyone or anything i'm yeah. i'm way more on the conservative cautious side when it comes to that and like that is just an example of one of the reasons why i would prefer mm -hmm. to have the control even this, if i don't get maximum dollar yeah it's the same reason uh sorry just before i forget like uh if you see an ad uh like the jimmy kimmel show mm -hmm. it's owned by abc my understanding is that the ads you're seeing on that channel like ABC has an ad department or I guess Jimmy Kimmel has an ad department. Yeah, They're yeah. just selling the ad space on that channel themselves directly too. So that is something else you'll see. And that even explains in some cases, I think at one point, like Jimmy Kimmel had a video about like a tragic news event and it was monetized. But mm. when other random YouTubers were talking about that event, all their content was getting demonetized and people were really upset about this. I'm pretty oh. sure the answer was, well... They bought ads. The Jimmy yeah. Kimmel show was selling ad space on that video. It wasn't being done through the YouTube partner program. That's a really good point. And I think that's why you, you'll you see that kind of thing only on specific channels that have that infrastructure to build out that kind of Yeah, not many ad. channels are yeah. just trying to sell their own ad space. The average YouTuber like, like me doesn't have that kind of thing in place. No. <laughs> yeah.